Hello, welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so we have an amazing offer coming to you today. We are giving out every single uh, asset we are using in this video out for free. Down from the images to the lots that we'll be using, we are giving it out to you for free. So the essence of giving it out for you for free so that it will help you improve your own workflow just to help you improve your own workflow so but before you uh you'll be able to use it there's a password you need to get in between this video so just make sure you stay through the video to get the password to be able to unlock your own lots that will be using so we'll be applying it on these few images over here and see the results that we'll be able to get so to get started we we'll just go to the Order. okay so here is the lot these are the images we'll be using if you notice it's in a zip file so you just right click on the image and click on extract here extract here then paste your own password paste your own password right here so the password you need to watch through the video to get access to the password so it's extracted over here so we'll go directly go to our color lookup tables right here load 3d loads click on it just locate where your own is. Mine is right here. Okay, so I think it's here. Okay, so these are the lots pack. So we're going to be trying the four of them out on this image to know the one that suits the image better. I'll be doing the same thing across other images. So we'll click right here, press load. Let's see, amazing. Look at that subtle color grading before, after. Having a little warm tone and a little contrast. You can even decide to duplicate it if you feel the result is not strong enough for you let's try one other lot on it let's see the result is going to give on the picture beautiful see how it's looking amazing i think i like the first one let's try the last one and see okay so this is cool before and after before and after so we'll go over to the next image try the same thing on it so this is how you can achieve a uniform result on all your images having a consistent look for them Let's select the first one. Beautiful. I love this one. See the warm tones. See before, after. With a little kick of contrast. Let's try something else and see what we'll have. Look at this one. Beautiful. Okay, so subtle changes that are very, very necessary for your image. Let's look at this one. I think I love this. So I, one thing you can actually do while working with lots is that you can actually copy this one. Just drag it over, over, over the document and place it over the image. If we apply the same lot on the image see look at the image before and after if you feel the result is not strong enough for you you can duplicate the lot and group it into the same group so this is before this is after it makes the result way stronger look at the way it's adding those rich red tones to it so i want to delete this one then still stick with one and go and try something else on the same image so you are free to explore as much as you want this is before this is after you are free to explore as much as you want work on your image find the one that suits the skin tone you are working with i think i love this one i love this one before after see the way it's kicking off the highlights making everything glow so i think this is practically too much so you need to reduce the opacity yeah like that you can even try changing the blend mode to see if you will get something more fascinating so let's just go through and see if we'll have something more beautiful and fascinating nice one okay so i think i prefer it at the normal state without any blend mode applied so we have it before after let's drag it over to the next image and see what it's going to do amazing see the way it's making the highlights to pop see the way it's making the highlights to pop before and after let's try another color gradient on it and see what we will get look at this one somewhere around here see that rich warm tone before or after it makes your images glow and brings out the beauty in your image very beautiful look at this one before after so let's just drag it over and try it on the last image whoa i think i love this already before after before after see the way the highlights are kicking and all of that so let's try one more lot see what we have let me be the first one beautiful i think this is too warm for me let me try the second one nice i love that one let's try the third one Okay, so I'm still tilting towards the last one. I prefer what it did with the colors. Okay, so this is it before and after. Of course, you can still take your image to any, can some here build any other thing you want on it. 
can actually try going to your gradient map. Maybe you go to your legacy gradient. If you cannot find it just the way I can't find mine, you have to cancel your uh, your gradients, go to your windows, open up gradients from your windows. So let's just locate it. Gradients, let's locate it. Where is it? Okay. Okay, so here is it. Press gradient. So when you load up your gradients like this, click on this three icon over here and select legacy gradients. It's going to load up your legacy gradients just the way this one is loaded up. So you can delete this, go back to your gradient. Now, if you click on it, you are going to see your legacy gradient right inside there. Look at it here. So we are picking photographics, photographic toning rather. So let's just pick something warm. You can decide to try something dramatic, maybe a bit, uh, a bit cool or a bit warm. But because the palette you are working with is already warm, so I'm just going to pick something warm. Press OK. And we perhaps this change the blend mode to soft light and reduce the opacity. So you are going to see how it's going to just a little, little like that. Okay, so let's group the two of them together for Trudy. So this is before, this is after. If you feel it's too much, you can go and edit your gradients directly without even having to delete that one. So whatever you select right now is going to be applied on the image directly. Look at it. So you'll be able to add, to view the effect on the image and know the one that works for you better. So let's just click. Maybe I should increase the opacity so you can see the effects. So let me just take the opacity a bit higher. I think I already love what this one is doing. All right, so let's go back to legacy gradients, photographic stoning. Now, so let's start clicking over to see exactly what each of them is doing on the image. Okay, so I think I like it towards the blue palettes. Right, got that beautiful skin tones. So I think I love this one more. Press OK. So this is before, this is after. Let's delete the color lookup and see the overall effect. See the way it's looking flat. But with just two color gradings on our image, we've been able to achieve a glow, a glow cool contrast image. This is how you can apply color lookups on all your jobs. You can equally copy the gradient map and paste it over all the ones you've done already. Let's see what it does to each of them. This one is too cool. I don't like that. I'm going to remove it. Look at that beautiful skin tone. So let me just group this together. See before, after, before, after. Look at the way it's making the blacks a bit darker, making the skin glow, bringing out the, the uh, magenta-ish part in the skin to blend it directly with the background. So this is how you can use your color lookups and take your work to the next level. Thank you for watching this amazing video. I believe by now you've gotten the password. If you didn't get it, you might want to watch the video again to get it, but it's right there. So that you are not looking well do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel re click the ring button the ring button rather so you will get notified every single time we drop a new video thank you for watching this one see you on our next video